Yeah. All right, guys, credit to our guys. Uh, I thought they were gutsy and some tremendous performances and just stayed with it, kept swinging throughout the game. Uh, give them credit. I think Maryland's a really tough and tough-minded team, so uh, yeah, good win for our guys. Chris, did, did you know your team had this level of toughness in it to play a team like that, that plays the way that it did, to force an overtime, second overtime? Did you know your team could do something like this? You know, I, I think we've uh, we've improved in some of that, Adam, and uh, I think as much as anything, um, their their minds have been in a pretty good place, and I think that's where it begins right now. But uh, I'm assuming that's kind of what you're referring to in, in terms of toughness, like a, a mental toughness, the ability to keep coming. Um, you know, I don't think you never ever really truly know until it happens. But uh, I was pretty confident just with how they prepared. So what what does it say, or what does it mean that at this point in the season, given how the last couple of weeks have gone, and you you know you hear the what people are saying about the direction of things, but to win a game like this, yeah. you know, the way that you had to win it, what does this say about where you guys are right now? You know, I just, I love some of what we've had from um, our, our guys that we've talked about that are kind of the foundational pieces of our, of our team and our program. A um, guy like Bruce in terms of how he's led in practice the last couple of days, but, you know, Roddy's ability to impact the game in a different way. Even a guy like Dale, who's in his first year, but his mindset has been so good in terms of helping this group both in practice and in games, even though he's a quieter guy. Evan, uh, Felix, so we've had a lot of guys who have, uh, I think, really had the right approach. And as a coach, you're just glad that they you know, finally found the reward of the win. Well, Bruce in this game ultimately scores the game winner. He felt like he was really coming downhill, attacking the rim. And uh, I mean, this just felt like an offensive game that, you know, he maybe hasn't had as much of lately. Just what, um, was there something different Maryland was doing defensively or was it something, a different approach Bruce had? What did you see from him in this one? You know, we met this week and talked through some things. Um, and, uh, you know, we were just trying to look at some, some things we needed to do to, uh, to potentially help him. Uh, but also we wanted him to have a more aggressive mindset because um, we trust him to make the right play or, or make the right read. And there's been some games where he's struggled and he's getting a lot of attention. Um, but we did like some of the matchups that he was going to see tonight. Coach, Roddy said you might have smiled for a second. Yeah. What was going through your mind when you are on the court? You could celebrate it on the game too. Yeah, I'm just really happy for our guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm just... They've worked pretty hard, as you know, Adam, uh, with in terms of like they're good kids and they've worked hard. And, you know, I think we, as you know, we've been close in a couple games. And it was a gut punch the other day, you know. Um, it was a gut punch for our players, our coaches, and, and I'm sure it was a gut punch for our fans. And I felt, I felt terrible during this whole stretch for uh, all of those people, our fans, our, our players coaches um, and I, I would say this I thought our I thought our I know I thought our fans were unbelievable you know it was a really good crowd and the fact that they were as um, I think they carried us somebody one of the coaches just said man I, I think our fans carried us the last maybe 15 minutes when you include regulation um, and I, I just give them a ton of credit right now but I was just really happy for our guys Bruce immediately turned the attention to the next game, trying to carry that over. How do you guys, you know, just the energy down the stretch, closing out again, how did you follow that up and take with you to look at? Well, I think it's that, and I think it's also looking at some of our positives, just like we'll look at some of the challenges. How do we play harder, longer? How do we play uh, tougher, longer, better? Um, how do we be more detailed? We were not as detailed as we needed to be. Uh, it's my responsibility in the last two minutes of the Indiana game. We were better with that today. Chris, I know Zed was under the weather, but yeah. checks in the second half. He's used some huge minutes. And he did. The screen that he set, as well as the block he had. Yeah. Just, what was your reaction to that kind of impact? Really happy for Zed. I didn't know if he was going to play. You know, the, the text I got from Tony, our trainer, does a great job. Tony does a great job. And he said, I'm not sure he's going to have the energy to go. So I was trying, in essence, to not have to use him. Um, but uh, he was, his. I mean, his wall up at the end was was terrific. It was terrific. I was just really happy for Zed. You know, he's able to 
come in there and, and really give us a lift when we needed it and uh, got an offensive rebound and he was highly engaged so I'm just really happy for him. And uh, did the smile come before or after the windmill dunk? What was your <laughs> reaction yeah. to that one? Probably in the middle of it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably <laughs> in the middle of it. Yeah. Chris Maris, um, what was the game plan coming in to stop Jameer and Isaiah? Well, they do. He's obviously a tremendous talent. They run a lot of ghost uh, and isolations for him. I thought when we could keep Roddy on him, we felt pretty good um, because of Roddy's size. You know, he's a unique talent because he's so explosive. He can make threes, he can score at all three levels, but he can also drive to post. They ran an action late in the, one of the overtimes where they drove to post it, and they score on that a ton. They've beaten teams on that. And Roddy wouldn't let him get there because of his length and size. It's a great example of a kid who was not playing well offensively and yet impacted the game in a way that I've always said Roddy, Roddy's chance to be the best player we believe he can be, which is a very good one, is to be a two-way player. Um, and he showed that today. And just one more for you. I thought Julian, he played almost the whole game. Right. How, what was your game plan coming into that? I mean, he's their third-leading scorer. And he's a dominant on both. He's their second-leading scorer, yeah. yeah. Uh, to, uh, to Jameer, but um, yeah, he's a really good player. Uh, I think our post traps bothered him at the end of the first half. We were able to turn him over, make him shoot in some crowds, and then in the second half they got a couple open threes off of our post traps. Um, we had to pull it off and, and dig off some other guys uh, because they got a couple open threes. But I thought it bothered him. He's a good player. He's a talented kid and a uh, good good player. I know Devin had a few fouls in the second half, but he still finished with. You know, a couple offensive rebounds, a couple steals, five points. What do you think he did well today in the first half, especially when you guys were uh, kind of chasing Maryland and he was the energy that was keeping you in it? Yeah, I thought he gave us a good lift. I really do. I think he's done that. You know, we've talked about that. He's done that. He's given us a good lift. He's got to figure out how to foul a little bit less. Um, you know, I think that's a lesson. He's just, he's learning that. But man, his, his ability to score the ball, score it, you know, in the seams of the defense, score it in the middle of the floor, uh, against their zone was uh, important. You know, Bruce said he, he talked to Devin a little bit about not getting too high, not getting too low. Don't yeah. let the crowd kind of get you too high. What do you think with Devin on defense, is it more of a form thing? Or do you think like Bruce that said that like maybe the moment he just gets a little too amped up on defense? I think it's just him learning the technique required yeah. uh, and the effort required, you know. He's, he's not, you know, he's guarding bigger guys. He's guarding smaller guys out on the floor. It's just a learning process for him. He's going to be a good defender, but it's going to take him some time. Coach, uh, Maryland's offense was pretty active, lots of off-ball screens and away from the ball movement. What did you do to keep your guys steady, steady and um, make yeah. sure they didn't get lost out there and uh, prevent like the open shots like away from the ball screen? Yeah, I didn't think we were great in the first 10 minutes defensively, but I thought we'd settled in the last 10 minutes of the first half and then the second half. Uh, our numbers were way better. Our overall numbers were very good. Their team that has struggled some offensively, um, but uh, but I think their defense has been their strength. They're phenomenal defensively, six in the country defensively. So we knew it could be a difficult a game for us to score. But uh, yeah, I think I think as much as anything, uh, once we settled in uh, after those first ten minutes, we we just did a good job with the game plan, and um, I thought some of the adjustments. Chris, uh, given how the last month has gone this time around. I think the last two games have probably been a, the most while there can be. Sure. In your experience, which holds more weight when you're dealing with a team that's still relatively young with some of the guys are playing here, but gaining more experience? Yeah. Them. Which which uh, is which, uh, uh, how Tuesday's game ended okay. versus how today's game ended. It's kind of the same concept. Of what yeah. Doing, well, I mean, you'd always rather teach from a win than a loss. As I mentioned, that was a gut punch the other day um, because you know you have a two-point lead in the last minute, and you'd like to be able to close that thing out. We weren't, we, we didn't do it. But um, I thought, uh, you know, it's an honest film session. I think it has to be this time of year. But um, I think you'd always rather. Uh, the biggest thing for us is we just, I just really wanted them. I feel like they've been working hard in practice. I feel like we have been getting better. I just. They need to see, they needed to feel, you know, the reward of a win. They need to feel that validation. So hopefully it's something we can build on. How do you 
given everything that's kind of gone on this year, even when you go back to last season, how do you kind of allow yourself to enjoy these moments when you, when you do have big moments? And, or do you, do you allow that? Is it just always good? Yeah, I mean, it's a relatively quick, it's a good, it's a good question. You know, I, I, we've talked about that as a coach. It's hard for a coach uh, to do this. And I, I just, again, I think as a coach in this position, you know, you're happy for the 13,000 that were here supporting us. Um, and you're happy for, most importantly, for your kids and for your staff to be able to go back and, you know, enjoy a drink and enjoy their family. And, you know, um, you know I've, I've told you, you know, these, these two years personally have been, you know, challenge uh, they've been probably the hardest thing I've went through so I think as much as anything you just you're glad for um, for uh, you know your guys to enjoy this and, and 13,000 that were here that were supporting us for them to feel good and it's kind of a thrilling end there and um, that's what you're most happy about Bruce the end of the game over time just kind of being the point guard you talked about yeah. some, some of the matchup stuff but when he's able to do that how, how much does that change when you you know, um, they were playing drop coverage. I think when teams are, are and they did, they did jump him a few times. He did a good job giving it up. Uh, they ran at him, tried to get the ball out of his hands a couple of times. But uh, they were, for most of the game, in drop coverage. We felt like we could attack that um, in the middle of the floor. Um, but um, he also just played with, I think, a degree of confidence that he's, he's earned the last couple of practices. And uh, it was good to see him play that way. Um, and hopefully we can help him. I think giving him a little more space out there with the smaller lineup helped, which we talked about uh, there late. Um, I think that helped us as well. What were the huddles like going from regulation to overtime, overtime to second overtime? What was what were those moments like? What did you see from your guys? Well, Bruce was doing a great job talking. I think Jameson said some things. Evan, Felix, Roddy, they were all really talking. Um, I, that was that was really good to see. Uh, I, I think, you know, for us as coaches, it was we were in foul trouble. So it was mm -hmm. figuring out uh, adjustments, figuring out if we did want to continue to trap Reese, if we did want to trap one off the ball. It was just making sure we were on point with some of our defensive assignments. That was really the, the, what the huddles were about. And then what did you like about when this game threatened to get, like early, they yeah. pushed it to 10, and yeah. they seemed to be imposing themselves on you guys a little bit. Yeah. You were able to, to flip it there and close the first half strong, and that kind of set the yeah. tone. But what enabled this team to do that when it felt like it could have very quickly gone sideways on you? Yeah, I think our defense settled in. Those last four minutes were, I don't know if they were the difference in the game, the last four minutes of the first half, but they were really critical. Those, those last four minutes. Um, I, I just thought we settled in defensively. Again, we were able to get a couple of turnovers off some of our trapping, and then Bruce settled in kind of offensively with, with some of the middle of the floor stuff that allowed us to um, to get that thing manageable and then obviously get, get a lead. So I, I loved how we were. You know, as you guys know, we have not been great at times in the last four minutes uh, of the first half, but uh, they were terrific today. They really were. All right, guys. Thanks, man.